What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Chris over at Gentleman's Gaming, and we are back. Now, today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. As opposed to gaming, we're actually going to be talking about tech, hardware, software, all that good shit. And today, as you can tell from the title, we are going to be talking about the newest version of the operating system for Mac, Macintosh, or as they're calling it now, Mac OS. Now, just to preface this statement, I just want to let you guys know that unfortunately, because I do not own an iPhone, a lot of the features that Mac OS Sierra actually brings to the table are actually very interesting and very useful for people that use the iOS platform. Now, unfortunately, I use a LG V10, which is an Android phone, so I won't really get that much use out of some of these features like the iCloud storage that if your computer is running out of storage you could literally use your phone to switch the files over to iCloud or even using Apple Pay on your MacBook say in either just a store coffee shop or anything like that which even though I can't use those features they sound amazing and now to get into some of the really cool features that I really want to applaud Apple for actually putting in into OS X, I'm, I'm sorry, Mac OS. One of the features that I think is really neat is the fact that you can actually optimize storage in Mac OS, including on your hard drive and in iCloud. So say for the example that I mentioned earlier with your hard drive becoming too full, you can actually move over files from your computer over to iCloud instantly. There's instantaneous sending. And to be honest with you, I tried it and the transfer rates were actually pretty fast. Also, another feature that kind of harkens back to what I just said was the fact that iCloud is more integrated into Mac OS Sierra. Even the pricing and stuff like that on Apple's website is ridiculous. I think the prices that they said for iCloud for a terabyte of space is only $10 a month. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, if you think about it, Google offers prices that are as low as that. So to app for Apple to step down to that and actually offer a decent service like that, I think is very good. Now, I can understand what some people are thinking. Chris, you use a PC for work, you use a PC for editing YouTube videos, you use a PC for gaming. Why does somebody like you need a Mac? Well, to be honest with you, I just like tinkering with stuff. Mostly because of the fact that I work in the realm of IT and there's a lot of people that do have Macs and do feel that Macs are needed. I would like to get myself more acquainted with the Mac operating system, OS X as it once previously was named. Um, just to get to know the operating system more, learn a lot more about the inner workings, bug tweaks, even using things like terminal and disk utility to a lot more efficient. Also the fact, considering the fact I can't always sit down at my desktop and do work and edit videos and stuff like that, it's always good to have a, a daily driver that I could sit down with even if I'm at school or at work and get to work and edit a video and render it and upload it for you guys in the same day. With the MacBook Pro that I have, it's it's amazing. I could do all that and so much more. And really, I can't get that type of performance out of, say, a Windows PC, even if I wanted to spend the same amount as with a MacBook. Now, I believe the biggest feature that was brought into Mac OS Sierra was the fact that now Siri is integrated into the operating system with just a click of a button in the bottom taskbar or even clicking command space to activate Siri. Siri acts just like its counterpart in iOS. You could pull up files, schedule meetings on calendar, you could pull up certain files, audio files, documents, even search the internet at a whim. It's almost like uh, Cortana with Windows if Cortana was a little bit more refined. I like the idea of Cortana that Windows has actually brought in a personal assistant for you to have, but I feel like there's a lot more refining that needs to be done to make it a cohesive, a cohesive tool for Windows users. The only gripe that I actually have about Siri being on Mac OS is the fact that there's no voice authentication for Siri usage. Just like it is on the iPhone that you could say, hey Siri, or even if you're on Android and you could say, hey Google. There should be an audio cue that allows you to activate Siri without having to push any buttons. So I don't know if that's in the works for Apple yet or if there's something that I don't know and it's already implemented. Let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. So to end this clip, I want to actually talk about my thoughts about Mac OS and just what I have thought about it, using it for a couple days now and getting used to the feel of the new operating system. Realistically, it's almost the same as Mac OS, um, OS X El Capitan. It doesn't really have that many different features to it. Like I said, really the only biggest features that I noticed were the optimization for your storage disks. Also, you can use Siri. So realistically, coming from a Mac owner's perspective, it hasn't really changed that much. So 
In my perspective, I feel that Apple is going in the right way with allowing more integration with their other products, with their mobile platform. So more or less, they're bringing OS X or Mac OS closer to iOS, which I think is a good thing because it drives more of a product barrier, or I should say more of a need for products that are integrated, as opposed to say Windows, which is now actually allowing you to sync your Android phone to Cortana, which I think is kind of the same thing, but nonetheless, they're similar in their own right. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts and features video about Mac OS Sierra. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe, or, you know, throw a dislike or a comment saying that I'm a Mac fanboy. I'm not really a Mac fanboy. Like, the only Mac computers that I've actually gotten are the MacBook for school and work, obviously, and for portable editing, and the iMac that I restored. Actually, you know what? I might actually do a full video on that iMac on what I did, uh, because it's a really amazing story, and I thought it was amazing. So, nonetheless, I feel that Apple is heading in the right direction with more integration in their products, and I applaud them for that. But nonetheless, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. I won't waste any of your any more of your time. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe, all all that shit, and I will see you guys in the next one.